everybody welcome to our channel I know it's been a minute and everything for a video video but life has been busy and we that don't has. we don't vlog everything for one when you're going through things trying to do it you don't think about picking up the camera but um wondering what happened to my hand nothing really it's just carpal tunnel or tendonitis I'm not sure I got an appointment coming but I get little shocky sensations in my palm of my hand when I stretch my arm out I don't know why like when I I won't do it but like when I stretch my arm out like if you go like that yeah if I do that I feel electricity in my hand I don't know but like a year ago um, I was trying, buddy got underfoot, and I thought I would, uh, try to avoid him, of course, poor baby, and I missed up, and I crunched my fingers back on the wall, and it, I kind of had issues ever since. I should have went to the doctor. No. Oh. But it's my left hand, so, um, that's good, not my right hand. But I'm starting to have problems with my right hand, too. But that wasn't by an accident. That was just more because I need to take up. Maybe because the way I hold the phone or I draw too much or something. Well, I'm going to have to chill out on the drawing for a minute. I kind of want to venture into other types of art, you know. I like to get into sculpting. Get back into painting some Bob Ross paintings. I've always had a vision of um, stapling up a big old canvas on a couple of trees. There's no old ham on it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, I don't know. That's no way. Let's see what comes out. You know? Call it um, therapy art. It's a real thing for real.
other 11, yeah, the other 11, and I started my freshman year uh, oh my and goodness. finished out. Yeah. So, yeah, I was seven wow. years in two schools, and the rest of them were in 11 of them. Oh. Well, I only been in one city all my life. And the fourth difference, well, three or four different schools was because the other school closed down. You know? And now it's a Jewish school. Nothing wrong with that. I think it's a, it used to be. I'm not sure. But it was around since uh, 1920 something. It was right before my father was born like three years and he went to school there the school's kind of falling apart I always wanted to buy that building I do not know why and it has an underground tunnel in it it does I went down in it they used to use it for like a storm shelter but it was deep and dark and scary like really it was oh I'm sorry and then found out Mishawaka High School been there since 1875. I did not know that. And I lived there all my life. Until recently. That's crazy. Nothing stays the same. No. Oh. But you know what? It's okay. Because you can't stay in the same. Because then your life becomes stagnant and boring. That's what I learned. No excitement with the mundane. You know what I'm saying? For real. Status quo. Every day, every day. Same old, same old. No. I think this uh, video is taking down, a downward feel. But this is where we are at. We're getting a little discouraged because of our home hunting. And we don't like where we're living. Yeah. Who knows where the good Lord will have us. Check out that side over there because we can't go over there. Why? What's up? Because this is all closed off. You can't go over there. If I wanted to go here, i got to go down, turn around, and come back. <laughs> but I've been over here. It's not bad. something else about you Glenn that you actually did a mission trip too and I think that's neat he went to did you see it say you seen the Mayans the Mayans I, I met some Mayans yeah. when we were while I was that there. is so cool um, like to go up that what was it you said it was a oh yeah we it? went to some uh, Mayan ruins down there yeah. to a temple and that'd be so like interesting to see it what? was it really was other than trying to dodge pythons and stuff like that and then we went and seen uh, a couple of mayans that was living out by this lake mm -hmm. now what they were still living very primitive um they actually took the corn and ground it up and put it on a rock on a fire and cooked nah. that way that's so neat. yeah, I would have loved it. I always um, wanted to go on a mission trip. And the guy was gonna, you know, there was the, like this little pond or lake there, and he had a boat, and uh, he wanted to know if we wanted to go for a ride. And he was talking about all these alligators, you know. And I'm like, I ain't getting in that boat. And so our my pastor and this other guy are out on this lake you know now he had a gun in the in the boat with him yeah and i'm sitting here thinking wait a minute um they're safer than i am if there's a, a an alligator he can come up out of this brush and i'm done <laughs> and i'm thinking that i did not think through uh but you know and then we went to this place, you know, uh, when we got there, the guy we were ministering with said that sometimes these people, if they can't get anything else, they'll actually eat monkey. 
I don't think I could do that. That's like can bone can a cannibalism. Yeah. I don't know. But anyways. The pastor says, man, you know, I don't like to try that, you know, and I'm like, oh, my Lord. And, well, uh, we were in this one village. We were just there for the afternoon. And uh, so they s said, well, you know, why don't you go out in the jungle and you could at least see some monkeys. I seen I seen two can Yeah, that's cool. I, I seen an actual I two can I love that. See, that's adventure. And, uh. I bet they have those in Florida, huh? And all these guys, you know, guys that took us out there, mm -hmm. they're all rock walking around. And they all got these big old long machetes and they're just looking. And I'm like, what in the world? And uh, we didn't see any monkeys, but when we got back in, they gave us. Uh, now we're at, we're in the jungles of the Chiapas Mountains, yeah. in the southern Mexico, just north of the Guatemalan border, and. Uh, <coughs> And I think Pastor was the one that asked about, you know, why they were <coughs> carrying those machetes and everything. He says, oh, yeah, that, that forest out there, that's infested with uh, anacondas. Can you turn that air off? And they will hang up in those trees, and then when you walk underneath oh, them. Oh, that makes me want to And he says, it. and they were there, the, if that would have happened, um, they'd have been eating anaconda for dinner tonight. <laughs> and I'm like... Why didn't you tell me before we I went know. out? There? Like right? Oh, uh, that was funny. You know, I I I hated the food. <coughs> I weighed a hundred and six. I, I weighed about right about two hundred pounds when we left. I weighed one hundred and sixty when we got back. <laughs> oh man, I, he doesn't uh, like Mexican food. I don't uh, know what uh, authentic Mexican food and tastes like, but I that, do like Mexican. I like that taco, is though. not. Hacienda stuff. I'm telling you, that is. I never ate it. Oh Hacienda. my lord! I've actually ate fried banana. I never ate. It wasn't bad. What's that taste like? Just fried banana? You could probably Kinda, do that yeah. at home on the stove, right? Um, I don't know. I they, they have different bananas down there. They, I mean, they look quite a bit alike, but uh, accordingly, they're not the same thing. Mm. And I've went out, reached up, pulled a uh, almond right off the tree. Opened it and ate it. Can't you do that in Missouri? Those were pe those were pecans. Oh. Yeah. That'd be neat. But yeah, yeah. When well, the the house we stayed in when we were actually in the city, um, they had an almond tree and a banana tree in their backyard. Man, that'd be great. I'd want yeah. an orange tree, a banana tree, and a lemon tree. An apple tree, a peach tree. <laughs> I'd want it all. <laughs> Give it all to me. Well, let's head in here. All right. And, uh... All right, guys. See you in a bit. Hello, everybody. We're back. Had to get a little something to drink at the um, gas station. What are they making there? Well, you remember that restaurant that was there? It was Chinese, and it closed up, and it opened again, and Pandora? closed up. Pa not Pandora. I don't remember what the name of it was. <coughs> Um, <coughs> sorry guys, allergies are kicking my butt. And, uh, I was in there a few times. I don't like Chinese, but I <coughs> they had other stuff on the menu. And, uh, um, they tore all that down and they built, they're building something else in there now. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff around here that they put in here... When I moved over here in uh, 92, and uh, a lot of them are, businesses are all gone, uh, either other places in them, some of the buildings have been torn down, it's just, so in, what was that, uh, 30, 32 years, it's a whole different face over here. I know. Like it really does change every ten to twenty years. Well, the big thing is a lot of its technology has changed, and a lot of things they. Uh, <coughs> I mean, going that air conditioner is making me. <coughs> oh, I have allergies, really bad. Sorry, Glenn, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Um, 
but it's, it's like the mall that mall used to have all kinds of stuff you know and uh, I think malls are becoming obsolete y'all that one pretty much is used to go in there and it was <coughs> crowded all the time <coughs> and, man is there like something blowing can you um sorry guys I need to drink or I'm going to cough my head off. I have really bad allergies. <coughs> it sounds like, oh, what's that guy doing? Somebody's doing something up there. There was a car that almost hit us earlier, and it was, like, going, like, really, really fast. It was I mean, a 40-mile-an-hour like speed limit, and I, I think he was doing at least 60. I, Glenn, if that car would have hit us, we would have probably been seriously hurt. Yeah. I am a little bit nervous to drive anymore. I don't drive that much, y'all. And I know that's wrong. Because you should never fall out of progressing. And I am. Uh, I literally, I think I'm getting afeard. Afeard. <laughs> getting afraid of um, driving. I can drive, though, and I have a license. I just never do it. I think I got lazy or something. It's nice just to sit in the passenger seat and not have to worry about it. But that's not good. But in the town we live in, there is nothing to do, y'all. I like the peacefulness of a town, but it has to be like closer to a bigger town. And I want the country. I do, but I want the country outside of a city that has everything. Yeah. And you know what? You can have that because I once had that. We had it for like a year, didn't we? On current road in Mishawaka. Was that on current? Kinda, yeah. Well, it was enough for me. It was five acres, but. Yeah, I didn't like the layout, but yeah. It, it was five acres, had a barn, you know, yeah, and attached garage. Yeah. But the house nice is place. tore up now. It's still sitting there. Yeah, but it barely. Um, I wouldn't want to live back over there because the, we were renting it and the man was creepy, y'all. Uh, he was obsessed with his property or something, but he rented it to us. And one day, because I didn't acknowledge the door, I'm somebody that don't answer the door. I'm telling you right now. You come over and you don't call, I'm not coming to the door. That's all there is to it. I don't mean to be unfriendly, but I'm not that out there like that. And he did that, and because I didn't acknowledge him, he went pounding on every single window around the house, saying, I know you're in there. I know you're in there. I was freaking out. And he wouldn't dare come in the house, because he was the landlord, because I had a big old dog, Baxter. Remember? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was scared of him. He said, show me your dog. Show me your dog. I said, okay, I'll show you my dog. I like that. And he's like, mm. <laughs> He was trying to torment me. He well, knew he you thought, were at work. He thought I was. No, he, he didn't. Thought he, he thought I was supposed to go to work. It wasn't to him being and I up came in our Shirley home. Like he that. was still there when I got home. He was too much in our Shirley. So anyway, I wanted to uh, have him arrested because he was terrorizing me. And I don't want to put people in jail. But I'm not going to be nobody's victim. And Glenn, he let him off the hook. But you know what? That guy was rude and creepy, man. Even you said he gives you the creeps. You should have put him right in jail. I don't care. He know he's old enough to know better. Well, he's probably not around no more. He was old then. He, he was, was obsessed. I'm thinking he was hiding something on his land because nobody needs to be that obsessed. And after we moved in there, I got the creeps from the place. Yeah, I know. If you guys like these videos let us know leave a comment below push that like button up, 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 and let's see those numbers rise that's my uh, sales pitch y'all <laughs> tap that subscribe uh, do all three just kidding well no I'm not kidding do it <laughs> I just don't want to be forceful I don't like to put myself on people like that hope you enjoyed though and catch you on the next video. Bye, guys. <coughs>